So dash down, you pick your man, you move. Or when you run away, it will come to work here. So for us to actually survive and do well, we had to take from them by fighting hard to chase them out so that they leave their, their stores behind because we had to capture some of these in order to use it, turn it against them. Take off their uniform, take off their boots, the gun, everything you can lay your hand on, everything they provide. That problem went by the name of Jesus. That problem went by the name of Jesus. The, the war was uh, actually the war between David and Goliath. Uh, uh, the sheer number of the Nigerian soldiers with every equipment you can think of uh, uh, was daunting. Nobody realized the shattering effect on morale with the pounding of artillery and the pounding of mortar shells could effect, which was the pounding of artillery. In three months of war, federal forces took two-thirds of Biafra's territory. And in the fourth month, armored columns marched through the Biafran capital, Enugu, reducing Biafra to a thin sliver of land. I think, actually, that the fall of Enugu was for us a moment of truth. Any other thing prior to the fall of Enugu was a technical situation. But war was brought home to Biafra for the fall of Enugu. We had to evacuate our capital. The Nigerian government had assumed that Biafra would fall with its capital. But the Biafran people, convinced that they would be massacred, retreated into their ever-shrinking country. For two years, Biafra became a vast refugee camp. Biafra badly needed resupplying itself by way of arms and food because the refugees had come into Biafra. There were more mouths to feed and because of the war, the population was very mobile. And so it was necessary to get the message of the people in Biafra suffering, the mobility of the public, the air raids, the deaths, the genocides to the outside world. The helping arm of a comrade. It was extremely difficult. I think, I think it would have been difficult for anybody to see these lads, and they were many of them lads, 14, 15, 16, 17 years old, in rags, barefoot not to have been looked upon them with considerable affection. They suffered horribly, they took terrible wounds. Broadly speaking, and I've seen them, uh, they showed extreme stoicism. I will not die. I will not die of the vanguard bullet. 